Welcome, welcome to the live. Oh, let's see. I gotta try and remember what I was doing. I think this is the story card. Is not caliper and a disc break. Ugh. Yo, an early stream. I know, right? I'm only doing this because I, I um, I'm going to Kaylee's mom's. Um. We're going out for dinner for her birthday, so I'm not going to be on later tonight. I might be. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a double stream in a day. We'll see. Probably not very efficient, but we will see. Why can't you do it today? I saw the Discord was blowing up, but I've been a little busy this morning. Milf and Cookies 23 followed me. Milf and Cookies 2023. Oh, damn. Ray Renee followed me. Thank you, thank you. My cat put a hole in my new suit. Aw. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. That sucks, dude. It's so messed up. I got some people to follow you last night. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Panda. Knocking sound from the suspension. Vehicle cannot be started. God damn it. I don't have any of these easy jobs. I have 11 credits. And I need to put the credits into this car. So I can just put the caliper and the disc brake on. So that I can get the money to fucking put the fuel rail on this thing because I accidentally sold it. I literally just need to put this one part on right here. But I don't have it. It's so expensive. Ray is a psychic and I was talking with her about me. Oh, that's what you were talking about yesterday in, um, um, what's his name stream? Shit. Um, Oztix. That's what you're talking about in Oztix stream last night. Pretty sure that's all I need to put in this car is the fuel rail. Fuel rail didn't need to be replaced, but I accidentally sold it. Yep. Yeah. Car's done. I just need to put the damn fuel rail in it. And I accidentally sold it. Yeah, I found out that I'm an empath. Yeah, I remember seeing that in the chat. That's interesting. Dude, I have 11 credits. I don't have money to even go to a junkyard to find, like, a scrap fucking rotor. I got a tarot card reading and whatnot. Hell yeah, that's awesome. If I remember right, it's, like, it's not good luck, but it's not bad luck to talk about your tarot, tarot reading, but I can't quite remember. Ugh. Dude, I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know what to do. All these cars have, like, huge orders, and I have no cash. I should not have spent all that money on those upgrades, man. So I asked her to channel my energy and what she thought of me. What she told me says a lot. That's good. That's good. It's always good. Hey, I'm up to 20 followers. Woo! I think it's what? It's 50 to uh, become affiliate? Yep, 50 followers. Getting there. I'm getting there, buddy. We're getting close. Yep, I bought this garage expansion here, so then later on when I have the cash for it, I can build a paint booth and I can start painting bodies and getting even more money. I just, I don't have the money for the shit. Yep, brake caliper is 71, and a disc brake is 95. I don't have enough money for any of it. Don't have enough money. Oops. 
Let's see. And I can't sell these. Because these need to go back on this car here. <sighs> God damn it. Other tasks. Other tasks. I wonder if I can just like finish the other tasks, which is probably just fluids. If I can do the fluids, then fuck it, man. I'll get some money. Refill brake fluid, refill coolant, refill washer fluid. We'll just do that. See if it gives us money. She said I was like Cat 4 Tornado, the outside has so much energy and it seems like she's so much new people. Wait, hold on. The outside has so much energy and it seems like so much to new people that it me, me then in the eye, the center, it's calm, meaning when people get to know me and know who I am calms them. That's the best I can remember that she said last night, Elbow. Yo, that's intense as fuck. That's crazy. This poor guy's gonna hate me. Ooh, I made $56. Other tasks. But it explains to me which is wild. That's fair. That's fair, dude. Hey, I mean... If you can freaking... Get the, uh... If you can understand yourself a little bit better, it always helps you out, too. Brake fluid and coolant. But I'll be streaming in an hour. Fair enough. In an hour, I will be leaving up to Ogden, so I won't be able to watch your stream. Sadly, but later on if you're still on which sometimes you do some pretty long streams. I'll I'll tune in 5671 Get this car in here too Never worked on one of these little bolts before. Ah, that's a cool little car. Let's see. Change brake fluid, change coolant, change power strings, change washer fluid. Okay, so I need to do this. Whoa. This. Nope. Tools. And I need to drain the fluid and refill with new fluid. Brake fluid is up here. That's nasty. Brown fucking brake fluid. Radiator cap. Yeah, this old school doesn't have a coolant reservoir. You just drain it straight out the radiator. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. There we go. Refill all the fluids back up. Accessible from engine bay. I'm in the engine bay. What the fuck are you talking about? There you go. But how are you feeling, uh, um, today? No, now knowing all that about yourself, Panda.
$125. God damn, this just got a lot of problems. Refill coolant, refill power steering. Coolant and power steering. Timing, suspension, running gear, so it's transmission, sloppy steering, <gasps> brakes. Dude, that dude's got a lot of fucking problems. Probably drifting his car like Tokyo drifting. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Tran transmission is noisy. Ooh, that's not good. If your transmission is ever noisy, you got a fucking problem. Refill brake fluid. Hundred and seventy three. We might have enough to get the rotor and caliper for this car. Vented disc, brake, brake visc ventilate, ventilated, and then a brake caliper, brake caliper, and a vented disc. Yeah, hell yeah, finally. Oops. Finally finish this car and get it off of my damn lift. All right, sweet. Now we can at least get hopefully a couple grand. I doubt it. If it's I'm pretty sure this car all we needed was brakes problems, so it might be a couple hundred bucks. But hopefully, you say it's a two, it's an early stream, but it's literally two o'clock. I don't know, five hundred dollars. I can at least get this car out of here now. I think. Whoops. This. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Fuel rail inline six dock B U two T. Fuel rail sixteen dock B U two T. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, finally, get this car the hell out of here. Yeah, $22,000. Mm. Yes, sir. That's how you make the big bucks. Five skill points, all right. Ability to fix part group number two increases chance of instant repair by 3%. See, I've never actually, like, used the repair feature. I think I probably should start doing that just to save money on parts. But I'm not sure. Parking alley is cheaper by 50%. I've never had to park a vehicle. Cuts time to examine parts by 0 0.05 seconds. Hi. Well, hello to other panda. Nice to see the booty shakes. Ability to fix parts. No. Cost four. Yes. I need the screwing speed, man. It takes so long. It is so slow. Alright. Time for a story mission car. Repair all body parts. Change oil. Drain oil and refill with new. Spray in the factory color and other tasks. Oh, I don't have a spray booth. 
I should probably get one, I guess. Build paint shop near your garage. Extend your services by paint jobs. 15,000. Oh, I won't have enough to do that car then. So, we'll buy the paint shop. We'll do some other missions to get cash. And then we'll deal with it. Okay, is the paint shop in here? The paint shop isn't in here. Paint shop is outside. Unless there's a back door. Can I go out here? Oh. Ooh, paint shop. Ooh. Oh, I only got one side open. That's lame. Oh, well. Okay. Got a spray gun. We got our mixer stabilizers. We got our different paint codes. Big ass air compressor. Let's open up the booth. Oh shit. We'll just leave these doors open at all times. Paint shop. Paint a part. Okay, so I just need to grab a part to paint it. Paint shop. Paint a part. Shouldn't that be like prep a part? Prep a part and then paint a part? I think that would be what that should be listed for. At least I can now use this back door. Before I was never able to actually use the back door. Car does not start. Engine has no power. No. Loud when accelerating. I'll do it. God damn! Somebody's drifting in our freaking complex. Holy fuck. No parts are discovered. Okay, so I'm betting it's just an exhaust problem. It should be. So then, um, it's probably just going to be a cat or a buffler. But always double check the headers because it's so annoying to try and lift this car up and down off the ground. Oh, well, yeah, see right there, exhaust manifold and then downpipe. Front exhaust section A, inline 4B. Exhaust section A, inline 4B, inline 4B, right there. And then exhaust manifold inline 4B. I think that's in motors. Yep, exhaust manifold inline 4B. Okay, I gotta take the turbocharger off. Spray some WD-40. Everything's fucking rusty. Take the manifold off. And then, of course. Take this one off. Beautiful. Now we just gotta remount it all, brand new parts. Perfect. Drop the car back down. Perfect. Then we'll throw the turbo on, send the car out. Let's see, if we're doing two exhaust parts, I'm going to say 500 bucks. $280. Okay, fine. God damn, all these cars have so much wrong. This one's got motor, timing, suspension. Transmission and fluid problems. Jesus. You know what? Let's do that one. Do the most spendy one. Try and bring in some dough into the shop. Yikes. You know what? You need a car wash first.
Spray the outside. Yeah, look at that. Already better, other than the window. The window looks like shit. Interior detail. Beautiful. Window still looks like crap. Bam. Bring you up to one lift. Okay, let's see. Drain oil. Tapping sound from the engine base. I need to replace engine components. Air filter, fuel filter, oil filter. Timing needs to be replaced. Car's hard to control. Knocking cover from the suspension. A transmission. So, you know what? We are going to... I'm going to drain the oil first. And then the last thing we'll do is put the oil in. Drain the oil. Oh, that is pretty dark. Take the oil filter off. Orange inline 4B. It was a blue. I think it's blue. Yeah, it's blue. Alright, that's done. Okay, looks like that whole drive shaft needs to be taken out and replaced. Tie rod over here is done for. We'll do the suspension work first. Oh, there we go. Okay, take the center axle out. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the other side. Take the other axle out so then we can remove the whole front drive shaft. Take this out. Oh shit, you know what? I should have inspected the wheel bearing. That wheel bearing looks nice and shiny. It's good. Take this outer tie rod out. And then we can remove the front drive shaft. Okay, suspension. Front drive shaft. And then, oh. Uh, we need a tie rod end. This tire back on. The rest of that suspension looks good. On this side, inspect that wheel bearing. That wheel bearing looks nice and shiny. Throw the axle shaft back in. That tie rod looks good. That looks good. That tie rod looks good. Sway bar looks good. Okay. Looks like we got some suspension in the back all the way on the right hand corner. Yep. That, I want to say sway bar link? Yeah. Sway bar link is done for. What about on this side? That's why we're link is bueno. Looks like the wheel bearing in there is pretty good. And this wheel bearing. That wheel bearing looks good. So we'll just take this tire off. Replace the sway bar and link. Damn bolt, come out. Let's just double check this wheel bearing. Yep, that looks really good.
sway bar, rear end link. Oh, right there. Sway bar, rear end link. Beautiful. Then we're just gonna double check our stats, make sure. Car's hard to control, replace both of those. Suspension noise, replaced it. Transmission, timing, filters, okay. So now we got all motor problems to do and transmission problems, which shit, I need to take the drive shaft out again. Oh well, that's okay. You know what? We're gonna do the filters because both filters are up top for some fucking reason. They like to put uh, fuel filters right above the transmission, which it's right there. Fuel filter, take it out. F fuel filter and then we go all the way back to air filter because we're gonna need to take the air filter out of this oops oops shit 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 there we go come on there you go air filter box it's up here oh Beautiful. Ooh. 1%. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay. Now let's double check our stats. Filters are all done. Timing. Transmission. Tapping noise change oil and filter okay so the oil was done tapping sound from the engine bay which water pump and timing so I'm going to assume it's maybe all timing so I might be able to put the oil back in oh my good god do you see all that ooh that needs to be replaced the water pumps already on the list belt tensioner harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley the belts don't look too bad so let's run a diagnostic check real quick. Oops, wrong button. Let's do my OBD scanner, see if there's any electrical problems in the motor that we can't see that's messing up. All four ignition coils are good. Spark plugs are good. ECU, CAT, ABS, that's all good. That's good. That's promising compression test. Let's see if it's that. It'll tell me if piston rings are bad. Those are all good. Okay, let's do a, a multimeter test. It's going to test all the fuses and everything, make sure everything's nice and working. And the starter and alternator. Maybe the throttle body as well, if this has one. Looks like the relays are all nice and good. Okay. Let's just get a double check on the tire threads. Just for the customer. Just so they know where their tire's life is at. Not bad. Looks like they need to rotate. Fuel pressure. That'll be a good test. Make sure the fuel pump, the, um, the fuel lines are working, or the fuel rail. beautiful and that's it so let's see did that give us any hints on anything nope just the water pump we already knew about those and nothing about the transmission so I'm betting it's the clutch and the clutch release bearing is what needs to be replaced or transmission is noisy so maybe maybe the um, I can't remember the name The flywheel. Yeah, maybe the flywheel's messed up. So, okay, well, it's all timing related, so we'll just come over here. Oh, we gotta take the top of the motor off. Shoot. Yep. So we gotta take all this off first. Take the belt off. Oh, maybe worry about the front belt first. 
Serpent belt's at 60. Serpent belt B is at 55. It's not terrible. About half his life. It's ready to go away. Water pump. We need to replace the water pump, so we're going to drain the coolant first. Because if you don't, you're going to make a hell of a mess. And it's not fun. Coolant is not fun to pick up. Because coolant does not evaporate. Shit. Good. Take the crankshaft off. Or pulley off. Yep. Crankshaft pulley in line four. Camshafts, camshafts. Oh, here we go. Crankshaft pulley in line four. So we have that. We need a water pump in line four, right? Water pump in line four, yes. Oop. Water pump in line four, right there. Okay. Alright, well, we got that off, so now I need to take... Oh, we can take the timing cover off without taking the whole top of the motor off. That's nice. Some vehicles don't let you do that. Oop, oop, oop. Okay, fine. Oh, come on. I can't see anything. Timing belt. Double check these cam gears. Make sure the cams don't need to be taken apart and rebuilt. Cam gears are good. Ah, oh, that rusty camshaft. So we gotta take the cam, the motor apart. Lovely. Okay, wait. What was all with the timing? Belt tensioner, timing belt, water pump. Okay, so that's whatever. Three things. So I'm betting there's the camshaft, and then there's going to be some connecting rods that are bad. Don't ever do that. Don't ever spray WD-40 right up there. Okay, let's inspect this. Yeah. Yeah, that camshaft is done for. Okay. So that looks good. Those spark plugs were good. So then what else do we have? Crankshaft, or camshaft, crankshaft, water pump, tapping sound from the engine bay. What else can we see that is wrong here? The exhaust manifold doesn't look terrible. You can see how shiny it is in between the, um, in between the dust plate and the block here. This little bar here looks nice and shiny. So, I mean, that doesn't give me any reason to concern it. That all looks good down there. Starter looks good. Hmm. So you know what? I bet there is a cap or two underneath the block holding the pistons in place on the crankshaft. They're the, the mounting caps. I bet two of them are busted. So, we need a camshaft, we need a new camshaft. Crank, carburetor, cam. Just a regular old camshaft. Put the cover back on. Put the ignition coils in. Okay, top of the motor's done. Now we're going to come over here. We needed to replace the timing gear. Oh, we need to throw the cam gears on. Or the timing belt. Just timing belt. You timing belt. Okay. Throw the cover back on. 
Okay, we can throw the new water pump back in. Put the new idle roll or the old idle roller on, it's still in good shape. New crankshaft pulley, throw that on. Throw belt B on, which it was good. Then we're gonna throw the belt tensioner in. Did we get a new belt? Nope. Need a new belt tensioner. Belt tensioner. Okay, now throw belt A on, which it was good. Pimpin. Okay. That throttle body plate in there is kind of rusty. It didn't tell me anything about the throttle, so let's take it off. Nope, it's good. Weird. Okay, so then we're going to lift the car. Double check, make sure we did everything right up here. All three of those. We should change the oil, air filter, bam, bam, bam. Okay, so we're going to go down low. We're going to take the oil pan off, since there's no oil in it. And we're going to check out the connecting rods, which we need to remove this front exhaust section. Which, we need to remove the manifold? Ugh. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. You don't... Ugh, it's dumb. It's lame. It has to do it that way. That's why they decided to put a bolt mount all the way up here. Okay, now we can go back underneath. Take the catalytic converter section out. Now we can get to the oil pan. And let's see. Yep, that bearing's bad. And... It looks like that's the only one. Maybe this one? No. Double check. Yep. Crankshaft bearing cap. Oop. Hmm. All those, the ones on the pistons here, the rod caps, those look really good, really shiny. Crankshaft bearing cap. Didn't see anything else on the motor side, so maybe we just go and do the transmission now. Let's see, can I just get to the transmission? Ah, oh, the starter. Damn it. Oops, wrong button. Gotta always take the starter out. Sometimes. Most cars nowadays, the starters are built into the transmissions, which sucks. Because if your starter ever goes out, you gotta take the whole fucking transmission off. And that's shitty. Yep, gotta take the damn front drive shaft out. <sighs> I hello panda with you booty shakes. Okay, take the axle out. Okay, go over there, take this tire off. Take the drive axle out. Okay, now we can take the drive shaft out. 
Okay, go over to the gearbox, take the gearbox off. Which usually you need to drain to transmission fluid, but there's no transmission fluid in this game. Okay, clutch plate, yep, I knew it. The clutch needs to be replaced. Oh, clutch plate. And then, oh, the clutch bearing in the center. Oh, the clutch plate itself. The pressure plate in the plate. Oh. Clutch plate and clutch pressure plate. Throw the release bearing back in. Bam. Okay, now let's double check. See if knocking sound coming from the suspension. Oh, hey, look. It's gone. It was the, the crutch pressure plate was making the noise. Huh. Sick. That works. I like that. Throw the axle back in. Throw this wheel back on. Go over here. Throw this axle back in. Throw this rim back on. Okay. Now we can drop the car, throw the manifold and the cover on, throw the starter back in, put oil in, send the car out, and it's good to go. I love how the exhaust manifold has more bolts than the transmission itself. I think that's hilarious. Throw the starter back on, throw this cover back on, the heat shield. They call that a manifold cover, it's a heat shield. Okay, now we're gonna put some oil back in the car. Once you're done putting oil in the car, you always double check your dipstick. Double check your dipstick, make sure you're not over full, make sure you're not below low. Perfect, right in the center. I like it. Oh, we need to put coolant back in the car because we replaced the water pump. Don't forget your coolant. You don't want your car overheating. It won't be fun. It will not be fun at all. Good. Good. Drop her to the ground. Send her home. Double check. Check mark. Check marks. Check marks. Check mark. Check mark. Check mark. Check mark. Beautiful. Three grand! Ooh, drink the coolant. No. Honestly, coolant is really fucking sweet, okay? But it's very, very toxic, Panda. Yep. Like Haley said, everybody from Jonestown, don't drink the Kool Aid. Uh, let's see. We need to do a couple more vehicles, just for around fifteen to twenty thousand dollars before we do this one, because I've never had to use the spray factory before, so I don't know how expensive it is to use my spray paint. I bought the car for my dad. He kind of doesn't know about it because he's on a business trip, and you see, it happened that I was driving home at night, and something jumped out in front of the car. I was driving very slowly. I really was. I didn't manage to brake, and you can see the results of the front of, in front of you. The car was thrown around a bit, but it cannot be bad, can it? Please do what you can, please do what you have to do to cover up the tracks. My father will hate me if he realizes that I messed around with his gym. It's his beloved car. Make it quick. Okay, so this is, I need to get this done, this car done fast. Replace body parts, change the oil with new fluid, spray the car, and it has a couple of other tasks. So it shouldn't be too expensive. Fuck it, let's see. See if we can get this done with just 10 grand. Usually these story mission cars are expensive. I drink it every weekend. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. 90% of the time, you just give them a rough draft on what you think is wrong with it. Yeah, they're weird. Oh, no. I... Yeah. Panda says he drinks coolant every weekend. I fucked up. I thought this car wasn't going to be as expensive as I thought it was. Oh, no. There's two pages of parts. Fuck. All right, bud. Well, your car's not getting done fast. If this is his beloved car, you fucked up. This car looks like shit. Right, let's, go, let's go wash the car. See if any of this brown, white shit comes off. It's all rust. All rust. It's his beloved car, and he fucked it up. Give it a good detail for dad. Let's see. Ooh! Dad put an LS V8 in a BMW? God damn! No wonder why you took this car out. Shit. Daddy's spending money on his car, and you're just like, mm, I'm gonna fuck around and find out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna get this car back, and he's gonna be like, dude, it's never ran this good. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> Change the coolant, refill the washer fluid. Okay. gonna change the coolant then drain it okay refill it okay take the washer fluid we're gonna refill it Okay, washer fluid's done. Okay, yep, other tasks are done. Spray the car with factory paint. I assume the factory paint is blue because it looks like the kid rolled the fucking car. I'm gonna do the body first. So front bumper, rear bumper, left fender, right fender, and the right headlight B. Right headlight? Right, right headlight B, is that, are you, are you meaning the fog lights? Is that what you're meaning? Possibly. Let's take the front bumper off. Front headlight B. Wait, am I? Did I read that wrong? Right headlight B. Okay. Oh, body shop. This Panther. There's no right headlight B. We need a front bumper. We need a rear bumper. We need a right fender. We need a left fender. Where is left fender? There it is. Take that fender off. Take this fender off. Oops, don't do that. Assemble. Put that on. Put this on. Put this on. Put the plate back on. Front left fender. Front bumper B. Rear bumper B. What the fuck does that mean? Did I put the wrong bumper on? Is it is there a tuner section? Tune up rims. Add-ons. No f specialized front bumper there. Tune-up shop? No, that's all mechanical. Front bumper B. I don't see a front bumper B. 
on here. Uh, the bumper's different. Mark 1 front bumper, Mark front bumper 2B. So where the fuck, how do I... Um, add to shopping list. Okay. Go into our tablet. Open shopping list. Search. No items. Oh. Open. No, nope. nothing in there. Oh shit! No nope. fuck. Add to shopping list. Oh wait, no, don't do that. Uh, this one. There we go. Okay, go back. Body tuning shop. Ah, front bumper B, rear bumper B. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, and then right, was it right headlight B or left headlight B? Right headlight B. Okay. Take, oh, that's left. Right. Oh, shit. There we go. Bam. Okay, need to come back here. Disassemble, take the rear bumper off. And then throw the new bumper on. Rear bumper B. That looks stupid with the two exhaust tips and then the one cutout right there. That looks stupid as hell. It's got like a little bitty cutout. And there's none on this side, but it's got dual exhausts. Gay. Okay, body repairs are done. Spray color in f spray car with factory paint. Okay, move car to the paint shop. Um, use spray car current color factory color. Yeah. Paint car, $1,000. Okay. Okay, it's all sprayed. Still got all that damn rust, though, boy. You fucked up. Okay, spray painted. Bumpers, change the oil, and find all these fucking parts that he fucked up on the car. Move the car to lift one. Oh shit. I don't know what entrance C is. Oh. So I can have three cars. I can order. I can have two cars in the shop and then three cars outside. That's good to know. Shit. Okay. Now I gotta try and figure out what the fuck he did to this car. Air filter looks good. Honestly, everything looks really good. Oil filter is bad. Yeah, we already knew about that. Oh no. How much you want to bet? He's going to have me replace the rims. That rim is good. That rim is not. So this kid's out drifting his dad's car. Shit. Oh no. Double check. Yep. Race tire and rim 18A. You know what? Just to double check, we are going to run a diagnostic. Make sure motor is all good. Okay, 
Now we're gonna do a fuel test. Make sure his fuel filter and pump is good back there. Looks like he just needs to do a whole rear suspension system. Okay, fuel pump's good. Tire thread. I bet the tires are gonna be bad. Any tire is 70. Okay, so only one tire needs to be replaced, which is the one that I took off. A multimeter test, make sure all the electronics are working. Looking good so far. Good. Okay, last test. Compression. See if he blew a cylinder or not. Ooh. Ooh, it's looking good. Ooh, it's looking good. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. That works. Double check. Make sure I don't need to replace any motor parts. Nope. Other than the oil, so I can I can actually, you know what? We're gonna do an oil change real quick. And then we'll deal with the rear suspension. So then I don't have to worry about anything with the motor. All I have to worry about is that rear suspension. Let's see how bad he fried the oil. Ooh, that's not good. Did he want me to replace the oil filter? I assume he does. Let's double check. Yeah, 13%. Yep, oil filter V8. Okay. Go back to normal parts. Shit. Oil filter V8. Okay, beautiful, nice and shiny. And then we'll drop the car. Put the oil in it. Where's the dipstick? Dipstick's over there, okay. Double check the oil level. Come on, there we go. Yeah, good. The front suspension looks good. Tie rods, yep, tie rods, yep, sway bar link, yep, yep. Everything looks really good on the front, so I think it's just the rear, you're just drifting it like a stupid kid. And the rear brakes. Oh, mainly just this side. That side looks good, that side looks good. Those brakes look good, these brakes look good. Looks like this kid just like overly ate shit. Rear drive axle. Ooh. Ooh, seven percent. This kid really fucked this car up. Going off for a little joyride and just tore it up. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Come over here. Wait, what? Oh, bushing. Bushing's done. That's bad. Uh, we're gonna take this off. Okay, can I take this off? No. Fine. Whoa! That's not what I wanted to do. What? Alright, 
say to begin everything. Yep. Okay. <sighs> okay, we're gonna... Oh, whatever. Screw it. Okay, so... Rear axle knuckle housing A. Rear knuckle housing A. Okay. Small rubber bushing. Got one. Throw the rear suspension cross arm back on. We don't have to stress about that. Okay. Spring cap. Which we need a shock absorber cap. This. And that. All three of them are done for. Okay. Bam. Bam. Okay. Sway bar end link. Needs it. Where is it? I thought I just saw it. Oh, there it is. Rear upper suspension arm? Ooh. Rear suspension upper arm. Double check, make sure those, make sure me throwing those small bushings was okay. Rubber bushing, shit. Okay, so we need to take that back out. We need to throw a new rubber bushing back in it. Oh, I did. What the hell? Small rubber bushing. Oh, so I wonder if it was one down there. Unless, oh no, it was for this. The rear suspension arm. Oops. Yep. Okay, double check. Yep, okay. The shock absorber was just fine, so we can throw that back in. This rear suspension arm B is bad. Wheel hub three, bad. Rear wheel hub. I think the wheel bearing was still good, wasn't it? 75%, yeah. Okay, and then we need we need a caliper, we need a rear disc, and we need rear pads. Oops, oops. Pads. Caliper. No piston. The piston was still good. Yep, 73%. We're good on that. Rear drive axle. I'm pretty sure that was blown, wasn't it? 7%. Rear drive axle. Did we replace everything back in its normal spot? Race tire and race rim. Rim 18A. So this is where it gets tricky because I have to go into my inventory, find the rim. So it's a 225, 35, 18. Wait, no, let's just, um, will it let me... Fuck. 
Sort. No. Okay, rim 18A. Um, rims. Rim is an 18A. Okay, I need one. The size was... An 18 inch rim. Eighteen inch rim. Okay. Tires were it was a what the fuck was it? It was a no nope, shit. It was a race tire. Race tire. Okay, and it was a what? Oh shit. Nope. A two twenty five. 3518 2 35 18. Yes. $700 fucking tire? Holy shit, man. Okay, come over here. We need to... Oh, no. We're gonna put a new rim and tire together. Okay, take it. I'm gonna balance the wheel. it. Throw the wheel back on. Beautiful. Look at that shiny new wheel and tire. And it's so pretty. And then you come over here and it's like, hmm. I mean, that one's still shiny. Oh, uh, they all look really good. That's fair. Okay. Double check your car. Make sure everything's check marks. Beautiful. 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 Cool. Drop the car. to the ground and send it home with the kid that fucked up only 11,000 for all that dude you suck okay. oil change refill fluids other tasks Use it every day at work. It's a bit worn out, but it's not missing anything apart from the engine cracking and drops power. Oh, crackling. Okay, so exhaust. This guy just needs an exhaust, so we'll do him. Two parts. I bet manifold. Ooh, wow. Nope. Middle muffler and. Oh. It's up front. Yep. Manifold, middle muffler. Oops. And what is that part called? Catalytic converter. Okay. Take 
take it, send it, put it on. Put the cover back on. Lift the car, drop the hood. Beautiful. Double check it, pimp it, send it. Good to go. Add advanced color palettes to color palette paint types to your paint shop. And then add custom color mixing and liveries to your paint shop. That's sick. But a dyno. Ooh. Welder. Engine hoist. So 4500 $9,500. Let's, let's, yeah, fuck it. Let's get all the tools. Bet. Okay, let's see. Look around, look around, look around for shit glowing. Okay, one, two. Where's the welder? Oh, there's the engine hoist. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, there's the welder. Pimp in. We got the engine stand. Create, install, rotate, rotate, take off. And then we got our repair tools for body point body blah, 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 body panels. Repair body table? Repair table, body. Don't I have body parts in my fucking... From that beamer? Yeah, look at that. I can't repair those? Really? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, let's sell of our useless parts. Anything under 80%. Okay, we're selling that. We don't need that. Pimpin. Okay, so what do we got? All right, bugs. Pick two cards between one and five. Five and one. All right, we got one. We got five. Another bonus case. Woo! Once again. Four and one. Bonus case. Damn, bugs. All right. Once more. Apparently. Two. Barn location. And five. XP. I like it. And last one. Three. And. Oh, I did five. I fucked up. I fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm level 12. Ooh. I'm level 12, though. That means I can go to um, barn finds. We can hopefully find cool, sick fucking cars. I got four barn locations. First barn location. Let's see what we can find. I don't really have the money for a barn find right now, but... Because I just bought all those tools... But it's always cool to go out and check and see what my barn finds can come up with. What time do we need to leave? Okay. Dinner's at 5. Oh, we're going and meeting up at your sister's place? Cool. Got a little, like, Ford Pinto-looking thing. Oops. 
Oops. Normal mode. Buy car. So I'm in Flondo. How much does he want for it? 14 grand? That needs a lot of work. A lot of the motors, motors rusted to shit. Ooh. Why does that look like a Rolls Royce? $24,000. Motor is torn to shit. One car, two car. Oh, there's more cars over here. Is that a motor? No. Oh. What is that, like a Honda Civic or like a Fiat? Almost looks like a Fiat. Uh, you get a letter in the mail for jury duty. The court summons you, yeah. And if you don't show up to it, then you can uh, get a warrant put out for your arrest. Jesus. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fucked. The tea. <laughs> but yeah, you just get a court summons in the mail randomly. Yep. That's how Justin got jury duty. He got out of it due to his therapy, though. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Increase mounting unmounting by 25%. You know what? Let's do that. And then we'll do this. Alrighty, I think that is going to end it for us today. So, we'll leave it at this. Maybe tomorrow we'll start on this cargo van. And we will see what happens through there. But y'all have a great night or a great day, wherever you're seeing this or watching this. Tune in next time for my streams. And we could hopefully have you guys help us out, try and figure out what we want to do on a car. Um, when we have the cash for it, we could do barn find and possibly build our own vehicle. So with that said, y'all have a great day, and we'll talk to y'all later.